The gamma dive is the least invasive form of neurosurgery. It is computer-controlled radiation beams focused onto a target within the human brain. There is no incision made at all on the patient's scalp. We can treat uh, patients with brain tumors and arteriovenous malformations with no mortality and very little morbidity. It is particularly useful for deep, recurrent, residual, and small tumors and arteriovenous malformations. It has a very high patient acceptance because it's done as a single session on a, on a single day without general anesthesia, and patients don't feel any pain during the treatment. Here are the main benefits of gamma knife treatment. Gamma knife treatment is surgery without an incision. Instead, gamma rays are focused at the abnormal lesion to remove it without affecting the adjacent tissues. The treatment gives good results. It is a lower morbidity and mortality risk compared to microneurosurgery. In some patients with inoperable brain tumors, it is the only option. It is a safe, effective and cost-saving alternative to conventional microneurosurgery. Gamma knife treatment is usually done as day surgery in a single session. Hospital stay, if any, would be overnight at the most. Conventional surgery would require up to 14 or more days of hospitalization. Undergoing gamma knife treatment can return to their normal lifestyle almost immediately, compared to four to six weeks of convalescence required for those who undergo conventional surgery. Gamma knife treatment is supported by over 40 years of well documented research, evaluation, and clinical use. It is approved by the Federal Drug Administration in the United States and is often published in peer reviewed medical journals. The gamma knife has minimal moving parts providing inherent safety, stability, accuracy, reliability, and reproducibility. Complex treatments can be delivered routinely with confidence and high accuracy. Hence, reliability and the patient's safety are ensured. The entire treatment is divided into four stages, frame fixation, diagnostic imaging, computerized treatment planning, and treatment. The patient comes to the Singapore Gamma Knife Center on the morning of the treatment. There is no need for the patient to fast the night before the treatment or during the day of the treatment itself. Here, the neurosurgeon will administer local anesthesia before commencing to fix the stereostatic head frame onto the patient's head. This frame provides the basis for target coordinates determination. After frame fixation, magnetic resonance imaging or MRI scan is done. The MRI is necessary to locate the exact position of the lesion and to provide a detailed brain map for treatment planning. In some patients with arteriovenous malformation, a cerebral angiogram will be done. Once imaging is completed, the patient goes to the rest recovery area. Meanwhile, the MRI images are downloaded into a sophisticated computer workstation. The neurosurgeon, radiation oncologist and radiation physicist form the planning team. Treatment planning is carried out in the greatest detail. This ensures that the maximum dose is delivered to the target center with the minimum dose to the surrounding normal tissues. As the treatment planning is being done, the patient can rest at the rest recovery area. He can also walk about or even take his lunch before treatment commences. Once treatment planning is completed, the patient is brought into the gamma knife suite for treatment. Here, the neurosurgeon and his team will position the patient onto the gamma knife couch. Then, they set up the coordinates on the head frame. accuracy in targeting the lesion, the neurosurgeon and radiation physicist will double-check the coordinates. The patient is then positioned for treatment. The treatment itself is pain-free and takes about one hour. Once treatment is completed, the head frame is removed. The patient is then transferred to the rest recovery area to recuperate. Resting for about 30 minutes, he can return home.